Hi there, we're gonna do What Should We Do With The Drunken Sailor? A classic hornpipe traditional sea shanty, okay? So you probably know the words. What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Right in the morning, hooray and up she rises. Notice that really this is a very simple tune. Many tunes are very simple. What makes them good is partly their simplicity because it's easy to remember them. And this makes remembering this tune quite easy because it's all based upon these two little sequences. And then one note lower on each note. So these are all based on arpeggios, yeah? So it's based on the E minor arpeggio. And then the D major arpeggio. So you can play those, yeah? So you probably learned those for grade one. E minor and then D. But here we just do the chord tones, which is root third, fifth. So, so one, three, one, and then open. Yeah, and then it's got these uh, these exciting rhythms, which really gets the tune going. There you've got the, arpe the arpeggio there, and then, and then the arpeggio. And then, then it rolls up the scale. Okay, so this is uh, this piece is all kind of standard fingering. It hasn't got any low second fingers in. Okay, so um, uh, do, 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 do. if it did have a low second finger, you would see it. You wouldn't see this sharp here. That sharp wouldn't be there because we've only got one sharp here in the key signature. I'll explain about more more about this as we go along, but. Here, if that didn't have a sharp, that would be a low second finger, but it does have a sharp, so its real name is C sharp. So nothing to worry about, really. All quite straightforward. The only bar that's um, a little bit more tricky is bar 11. Yeah? This one. So just be careful uh, when you're reading the notes for that one because you've got, might be easy to just three, then it steps down, misses the note three, one, then steps down to the A, and then misses the note two on the D, one, one, ba, 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 ba. So just get each of these patterns pattern one, pattern two. And then the, the end of the phrase pattern. Do, 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 Practice those. And then you'll find that actually, although the re this, this second pattern looks different, it's really exactly the same, but with some interesting bowing. Do, 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 do. Now this is the kind of chorus bit, isn't it? Hooray and up she rises, hooray and up she rises, hooray and up she rises, so lie in the morning. Okay, so have a little look at the way this bowing is written. It's got a slur over the top, but it's got a dot above. So that dot means we need to stop the bow. So we've got down on this way and then up, stop the bow, up, 
So we've got two ups there in a row. So if I was to do it with this pencil, it would be down, up, up, yeah? Try it on the bow. It's the first finger on the A string. Let's do it again. So get your first finger ready. Down. And now we're going to do two ups. Up, up. Okay. Now we'll add the next note in. Is another first finger. Do, 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 do. So first of all, you had this rhythm. Do, 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 do. But now we've got do, 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 do. Slightly different rhythm and this different bowing. So we've got down and then two ups. Up, up and then down. We'll do it a few times. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Okay. And then you have to hop over, don't you? The arpeggio. We use a fourth finger there. So, when to use a fourth finger and when not to. So, in this little passage here that I was just saying, do, 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 do. If you use a four here, then you can uh, not change bow to the E string. So you can keep this all on the A string. Do, 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 do. Yeah. One, two, three, four, three, one, eight. The other option would be to use an E, wouldn't it? But it's a bit clumsy using an E, it's just the one note. But it comes straight back. Okay, the fourth finger is not as strong and hasn't been used as much, so we need to work on it. So we're going to do a little exercise. We're going to three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. The challenge is to get your fourth finger high enough and stretched away from the three. It'll want to go about there but that won't be the same as the E. Okay, now I'll just check that our fourth finger is the same as the E. So I'm gonna play the three E first. And let's see if our four sounds the same. Three. Pretty good. Oh, that wasn't high enough, was it? I'm gonna reach out. Here's our E. So that's a really good exercise. Listen to the open string that you're trying to make your fourth finger sound the same as, and then reach out to get it spot on. Okay, so there's some nice dynamics in this piece. It starts MF, mezzo forte, bum ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, medium loud. Then you have a big crescendo. Forte here. And then piano, quite leggero. So the, the, when the tune comes back, it's quiet, it's done quietly ready for the big end and then this has a special ending this piece which is called often when you have a special ending it's called a coda it's kind of like a fanfare this you can imagine people playing it on trumpets can't you so i'm gonna play from bar bar 26 so just here yum bum 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 where it's getting louder with that hairpin. You can see the hairpin, the crescendo hair. Yum bum bum bum. So that's the big exciting end. Okay, so I'm going to play it all the way through, see if you can spot all the dynamics. 
Dynamics add character and excitement and drama to a piece. So um, it's really good to put them in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start mezzo forte, like it says here. Then I'm going to do a crescendo. Do, 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 do. Then I'm going to go left for the pesante section and then quiet for the leggero section. And then getting ready for our big ending and the big coda. things to watch out for um, in the drunken sailor. Main thing is the bowing. Down, up, up in this section. Yeah. And and just making it really jolly and exciting with your playing. So I hope this has been helpful and um, uh, good luck with playing. What should we do with the drunken sailor? <laughs>